Holy guacamole, Jane. Look what you brought in here. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to 11 News Saturday Morning. Jane Marion is here from Baltimore Magazine, and I am really glad that we are having this discussion because a couple of days ago, a friend of mine was complaining, saying, we don't have enough good Mexican food in Baltimore. Oh, I said, my. what are you talking about? The scene is completely changing, and that's what you wrote about in the latest issue. It really has. Since 2005, the Hispanic population has actually doubled. So. We are the beneficiaries. Which brings of that. entrepreneurs and brings there more people are, bringing so great food to our boom region. Boomtown for tacos. Right. And so we're talking a lot of great new restaurants that have opened up around town. And you're here with a couple of your favorites that you picked up. Yes, out? yes, yes. New and also old favorites. Right. So Holy Frioles, which is a classic Baltimore here, Mexican 20 restaurant. 20 years. They've right. been open. They had a fire. We're so happy that they reopened. Um, just a few months ago. Okay, now, okay, you know food. What stands out about their dish to you? Well, the, the fun thing about Holy Friolis is you go for the fun. You go <laughs> right. for the pinball, you uh -huh. go for the video games. It's Maybe a margarita, too. Definitely margaritas. Yeah. Cheap tacos on Tuesday, dollar, mm -hmm. dollar tacos. Oh, who can beat, beat that? that? Okay, so that's like a Baltimore classic. And then you also brought in one of the newer players in town. Yes, Cocina Luchadores okay. in uh, Upper Fell. Say that again. Cocina Luchadores. Nice. They gave me a little Spanish okay, lesson. Very right good. This is an Upper Fells. This is Upper Fells, uh, mostly breakfast and lunch spot. Uh, most of the ingredients come from Mexico. Mm. These tortillas cannot be beat. Look They're at how fresh this looks. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the McDonald's. With microgreens. Yeah. We have like nice green <laughs> things here on the studio today. Okay. And then also we have in, these are more of a street taco style. Yes. That's from Clavel. You go for the tacos, you stay for the mezcal and the margaritas. Uh huh. Um, they've been open three years and they've sort of really raised the bar on the tacos. And scene. they're in Remington, they're, which is kind of becoming this big hot spot, this culinary right. hot spot in town right now. Yes. All right. So this is in the new issue of Baltimore Magazine. What did you call it? The Gringo's Guide to Tacos. I like that because there's <laughs> a little bit of a rating scale you came up with. Yes, right? yep, and you, you don't have to know your puerco from your polio. We <laughs> tell you how to do, how to interpret that right in, right in there. And when in doubt, always ask the people at the restaurant if you don't know and you want to experiment with something no new, question. right? There's yeah. a lot to know. Yeah, all right, Jane, Marion, thanks so much for being here and Thank bringing you. these delicious looking tacos. All right, don't go.